Hello all and welcome to the channel all about economic board games. Today I'm going to be giving you an overview of the game Crude, the oil game. Here we go. And it's a kind of reprint, a newer version of the classic game of Mick Multi. You can see there. And it's designed by James there. It's brought to you by Stronghold Games. And this one plays two to four. And believe it or not, it came out in 1974. So this is an old school game. So in this game, you are CEOs of oil companies and you will be trying to let me show you you've got these rigs you're going to be trying to search for oil and when you strike lucky they're going to be turned into these wells and when you get those uh, when the dice hit them you'll produce oil in the form of these barrels and then you'll be trying to convert those from these refineries into gasoline so you turn those black barrels into red barrels and then you'll be selling those through your petrol stations and that's kind of all the components in this game now looking at the main board here uh, you can see there's four quadrants one quadrant for each player it's kind of strange you've got this kind of triangular effect so this is a section here and this is where you're going to be putting all your pieces so you can see the opponents have already done and i've left this blank just to kind of show you what's going on you store your crude oil at the bottom here so you start with two and you've got your gasoline here in red so this is our section and that's say player two player three and player four and the initial stage is the special purchase stage and you start off with 200 million and you can see all the money here there's various denominations all kind of nice little cardboard tokens so you'll spend your 200 million buying you can spend as much as you want keep some in reserve to choose your option of any of these four things here and you can put you know you don't have to have all these four things uh, you can see the refineries are quite big and take up four spaces you're probably going to want loads of these you can see four there five there because once you hit them uh, with a double hitter which makes sense shortly you can start making these because they don't actually do anything otherwise so it's your kind of initial setup as to what you want to put where and then once you've done that you can move on to the actual round so each player this player does it say start playing you go around so you can kind of see whatever players are doing and maybe copy strategies or do something slightly different now at the top here what you're going to be doing is selling those oil and gasoline you've got the foreign market here you can just see at the top there and you've got the oil in black and you can see the prices so if you want to sell one to this market you can sell it for five and you put the oil barrel on there or if you want to buy it you can just take one of these oil barrels and you pay the cost underneath you've got the gasoline there as well and then on the far right you've got the domestic market and then you've got the consumer market which is where you sell your gasoline when you sell it for your petrol stations and let me go through the rounds then so first off so you've done the special purchase phase you spent some of your money to get the initial setup is you're going into market phase so let's just say this player one here they decide or have an option to buy some crude oil or gasoline from the market at the top and they have to pick one one only so maybe they go for the foreign market here and they decide to buy you know as many or um, oil or gas as they wish or they can sell vice versa but you can only do one market at a time so you might choose the foreign market and then that's it uh, another player who does that later on might go for the domestic market depending on how cheap or how expensive the prices are if you're buying and selling so that's number one the market phase number two is the production role so you've got these two dice uh, where have i hidden them at the bottom here so you would roll them and you've got a black and a red dice you match the red to here so you've got one to six and then your black one to six there and you can kind of see on your area that the one meets the three here and there's nothing actually there so you haven't got a hit you'll also look along the row to see if anything's hit there and you look along here to see if anything's hit so there's nothing there nothing uh, on the actual double hit and you've hit a gasoline station which means you can sell one of your red gasoline barrels to the consumer market and that's where you sell your petrol uh, not your petrol your gas so you could take one of these barrels which we'll do and we'll go over to the consumer market 
and you put it on the one cheapest so you're going to get 25 million for that and as you go along the price goes down and that will change as the economy changes so that is what you do with the dice roll and this is during the uh what's it called the production roll phase uh, you also take the difference so the three and the one the difference is two and that influences the dice difference track which is in the middle here so you see this green dice doesn't really matter what it's on it'll go up two to represent the difference in dice and once it gets to eight or above you will change the state of the economy so you start off in recovery and you can see the cost of the purchase price of all those uh, assets which is what you'd have paid at the beginning you can see that when you come to sell stuff that's the prices you're going to get you can see also it reminds you that every time you build one of those oil wells the first one's five million and the second one so on is an extra five million based on the whole board so if there's like four out there you're going to be paying 25 million for the next one you can also see that uh, when you do hit that that green marker there on the eight you have to roll that green dice and depending on the outcome you can see one two three four five six will let you know how the economy is going to change so the odds are it's going to be the economic forecast is it's going to go up but it's not always the case you can see if you roll a one you're going to be going into a downturn and you've got expansion expansion and rapid growth as a six so let's just say you did go into a downturn you'd look through these so you roll the one, you then place the downturn on the top and you can now see that the odds are you're going to be going down from here on when you roll the uh, green dice in future. So let's just say the green dice did get to eight or above, you then reset it if that focuses in and then you carry on until it hits the eight again and then you roll the dice and you see what the outcome of the economy is. Now you can see this uh, change in consumer demand as well, which is two. That means you'd basically remove any of the most expensive ore barrels, leave the cheapest one and you'd go up two on the red, so two red. So that is now the new consumer price for gasoline. So if you manage to get a haul away a peak, can see it's really lucrative when you sell your gasoline to the consumer market so that's kind of how the economy side works also if you roll any doubles during this phase you've got these news articles and you can see that there's a stack of them here this is the one that's most likely to happen if you roll the double one or a double three and if you roll the double six you'll be doing this one which is least likely and there's some really interesting stuff on these you can see this one you remove five barrels from the gasoline domestic market because it's a, a long cold winter forecast once you've used one of these they kind of some of them stay in play until you meet the certain circumstances which is a double fire in this case this goes there if that focuses in and a new one comes out so it keeps it interesting uh, the the news articles and can really flex and flow the game and then you move on to the neighbor phase so this is kind of nice in this game because not only do you get your stuff to do but your neighbors so you start off your left the number one you'll look over here they haven't actually got anything uh, that's hit and the number three you then move to the right the play on the right you can see this has been hit does not actually do anything and this one's been hit as well so they could do an action which is sell one of those gasolines uh, you then move on to number four which is the asset phase and this is where you can buy and sell assets you can only sell assets that have been hit during that round so this player could only sell this one because that was hit and then you'd look at the actual card in play and you could see that a gas station liquidation value would be 45 or if you wanted to buy anything you could buy a drilling rig for 12 75 for the gas station or find it for 120 you can see the well's got star because you can't actually buy a well you can only attain a well when you get a double strike so let's just say in this case we had a five and a six uh, that would be a strike as you put it you would then change this for i haven't actually got any spell just pinch theirs for one of these oil wells and you pay depending on how many is on the board so there's one over there it costs you there's already one built so that's uh, 15 mil that cost you and you need the money to do that now on the actual main operations board here it kind of gives you a phase summary so you can see phase one um, you can buy and sell from the domestic or the uh, foreign market then you go into two where you roll your dice and it gives you a heads up so if you hit both then you can turn that into the oil well if you hit either or 
if you land on this you're going to get two oil which is great or if both hit it you're going to get four oil if you hit one of these refineries it lets you turn a um, oil into gasoline and if you get both you can do it twice and the same with the the petrol station if you hit it once you can sell one to the consumer markets so there's some nice symbol symbology in this one and then if you get both you can do it twice so that's really handy having all the actions there on the board and then finally the fifth phase is the end of the turn or you declare victory so the way you win this game is if you've got uh, 750 million you don't have to declare it then because you might have 750 million but you will then um, end the game, say, and everyone has to have one more turn. So say this player says, look, I've got 750 million. They show everyone. They've declared the end of the game. These three players get to finish it out. But most importantly, you then all sell your assets on the board, at the value based on the depression card, I think it is. So you'd look at the, this is the downturn one, but you get the depression one and you'd sell all your assets based on that. So it might be the case that someone else actually clinches the win because they have more more value and assets or maybe they didn't declare on a previous turn because they wanted to maybe sell some gasoline at some high prices on the consumer market or what have you now obviously for a long time it's about a 90 minute game to two hours i'd say on this one you most likely on phase five just going to pass so you've done your one to five you pass it over and they do the same stuff uh, and what's nice as i say is obviously during the neighborhood phase you kind of uh, you've got something going on hopefully and so that's it really you're trying to fill this board up with these uh, oil rigs uh, you're trying to convert them into these bit, bit of luck really when the dice happens but and then you're going to get loads of oil hopefully if those get landed on by the dice you want to turn those oil from the oil refineries into into gasoline you can also sell as i've mentioned before there's gasoline uh, on the foreign market and the domestic markets you don't have to go to the consumer market and it might be the case you know this is what i really like about the market the flux and flow that someone's decided to buy some of these and currently the value is like 26 and the consumer market might be like really low and it's like it's that sort of choices as to how you're going to buy and sell and uh, keep assets at the certain point selling assets is key as well if you buy them in a downturn and then you sell them during prosperity you can make some profits that way so there's a lot of nice interesting aspects to this game and there we go folks crude the oil game